then I go home and watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know that you watched this one. No, so it was the best one. You guys had like the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Oh yeah, no, I definitely laugh a lot. That's not, that's not. <laughs> oh wow. Weird. Whoa, weird. <laughs> Cause like this beat, mm -hmm. it basically, like the bandages basically just feels like you're binding still. In fact, I think right. the eighth bandage is bigger than what I was binding before surgery. So a lot of people say it's uncomfortable with, you know, it's necessary. Just bring your arms down there. There you go. And all these, you'll see like blood and secretions here under the bandage. It's totally normal, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, that's totally normal. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa! Yay! Raz! That's good. Go ahead and look ahead and remember you're a little swollen, but I'll plan plan out there. Cool. Yeah. And you can see how I have all these ripples and wrinkles and <laughs> you know, swelling and things like here and here in the center part too is going to be swollen too. Mm -hmm. and that's all going to calm down over the next several weeks, okay? So it'll all start to smooth itself out. It's totally normal to have all these different, you know, uh, wrinkles and stuff. And stuff. It's my old yellowness to the skin and bruising, it's totally fine. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the nipples are right where they should be, right? And the lower border of the pectoral muscle on both sides. The tape strips, easy one for another week. If they don't come off by next week, peel them off. As soon as okay, start applying the scar guards and the incision. Should not have any dog ears. Let's turn out to see which connection side on each side. Yeah. It looks very, very good. Okay? I was really worried about that. It looks good. Okay. Okay. Let's get the turn off. All right. Oh. <laughs> get back. I heard this. This is like the weirdest feeling ever. Nobody ever flinches. It looks like we were good. I wouldn't worry too much. Okay. That's right. Does it hurt? Uh, not not really. Some people say it feels more uncomfortable. Some people do have more pain than others. But most people say it doesn't hurt at all. This is strange. <laughs> what I want you to do is go ahead and turn your head that way. I want you to take a deep breath in and blow out real hard. That was it. That was it? That's it. Cool. Get right out. And then deep breath and blow out. That's it. Drain down. How was it? I didn't even notice. It's okay. a little, little more of a regular. It's a little risky for that. We come in here freaking out about the <laughs> <laughs> Now, there's a hole at the end of the incision. We uh -huh. just got to cover that. It'll take about a week to close up. We've got to cover the bandage and some antibiotic ointment like once a day. Okay. Melee fluid, totally normal. Okay. That will eventually stop. I'm going to take the dressings off the nipple. The nipples always look gross initially. The outer layer of skin will peel away over the next week. New skin cells will grow on top of that over the next couple of weeks. And the nipple projection will return over several weeks. Now, we expect to see. You see this right here, this is the areola graph, and in the center is the nipple graph. Once it's flat, it will eventually start to regain some projection. These little brown sutures in place are going to fall down around, I'm going to take up these black ones. Okay? Okay. So this is a lot. This is healthy. This is what you expect to see. Okay. Yeah, it looks kind of brownish and that's all going to peel away and it'll be pink for, you know, 
several weeks when pigmentation will return to whatever your natural pigmentation is. It can take up to a year to fully balance itself out, okay? Yeah. It looks healthy and alive. Scratch out it harder, it can actually peel away. Okay. <clears throat> it takes a few more weeks, which are really kind of solidifying and actually you know, become part of your body. You start showering tomorrow, put the water in your back. <laughs> right? Don't pay the shower jugs because you can damage your nipple grass. When you get out of the shower, you got to pat yourself dry with a clean towel and have some sticky dressings on. You can use two sheets with yellow gauze called Zero Form. Mm -hmm. it, um, it should last you about three weeks uh, for the dressing, that's all you need. And what you need to do is get yourself some bandage scissors and cut yourself two small squares, like this, and then cover each nipple. Mm -hmm. Then get some antibiotic ointment. I recommend generic triple antibiotic ointment. Put a little tiny dab, put it on there, okay. spread it. That. And we're going to cover this with gauze, but I recommend you buy those large square band aids. You just peel it open and put it right on top of the uh, yellow gauze, okay? Cool. Next couple weeks, take it easy. No strenuous activity, nothing to get your heart rate elevated. Try to keep your arms down by the side because you're still just from bleeding, so you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. After that time period, it's okay to get back to uh, um, regular activities, but no heavy lifting or exercise until six weeks from the day of surgery. Um, any problems with me now and then, I want you to give me a call. Don't email me. Um, and then also, at six weeks' time, send me photos of your chest just like you guys done. Right. Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. There's a break off. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. I'm going to go through the Uh, because I requested time off work, should I ask you for a note to go yeah. back? Or, okay. Yeah, just talk to Tilbury to what page you want to go back, and then we'll uh, remember it for you. Okay. okay, cool. That's it. Okay? Awesome. All right. You guys look really great. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Okay. I put the stuff in that bag right there. Okay. Um, Thank you so oh, much. Would it be okay after I get dressed if I take a picture with you and Bridget? Like, I know that, like, it's yeah. like, <laughs> best to go outside, or is it okay if we do one inside? Or? I'll go get you. You want me to go get her and we'll come in here and do it? Oh, yeah. That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs>